Well, hello, YouTubers. How you guys doing? Today, I'm up here at Cars and Trucks Direct of Bernie, Texas. I'd like to give a big thanks for providing the car featured in today's in-depth review. Links to their website and contact information can be found in the video description. So today, I am here to bring you this beautiful 2012 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. This is going to be a complete and in-depth review of the Rubicon. Start the engine, show it off, go over many of the performance specs, and show you many features that this vehicle has to offer. So we'll go ahead and get started by walking around the exterior. It's got a nice white exterior. Bright white, I believe is what Chrysler calls these. The Rubicon package is just a step above the Sport, so it is a little bit more loaded. Nice little Rubicon lettering on the side. It's got the original 16-inch wheels wrapped in BF Goodrich Mud Terrain tires. Got nice running boards along the side there. Factory spare tire rack on the back. It does come with a tow package down there. You could also, let me go ahead and see if I can't unlock this. Show you the back. Open up this. There's a view for your rear cargo. The back seat can fold down for extra cargo space. Oh, also, I think it, yeah, it also does flip up as well. You also do have a little 12 volt outlet down there. And speaker for the back. Actually, that's the subwoofer by Infinity. That pretty much showed you all on the exterior. Now, I'll go, out, go ahead and go on the interior. Inside, this does have the optional brown leather interior. Oh, your power options are right up here in, in, in the dash. Your power windows, power door locks on the door, and power mirrors down there. So, let's go ahead and jump inside here. It's a very nice Jeep. We're going to start the engine here. This has 41,000 miles in its odometer. Pretty decent amount of miles on this Jeep. So, now let's go ahead and start the engine. Nice. It's got a full leather wrapped steering wheel. Nice and smooth power assisted steering. Times it just feel a bit spring loaded, but that's normal for a four wheel drive vehicle. It's got a five speed automatic transmission with auto stick manual shiftability, clicking right to shift down, or excuse me, left to shift down and right to shift up. Your numbers will show right up there in the dash. Nice. Now let's go ahead and turn on the lights. It does have automatic lights. Fog lights, and hazards. Both the windows are automatic down. All right, now let's go ahead and check out the exterior. Go back in, shut off all the lights, and now we'll go ahead and pop the hood and show you the engine. Just release the latches on both sides, get access to the main hood latch, and lift her up.
At the busiest end of this Wrangler, new for 2012, is this all new 3.6 liter Pentastar V6. Dual overhead cams with, with four valves per cylinder and also variable valve timing. Produces 285 horsepower and 260 foot pounds of torque. Everything under here is all stock. It's got its original air box. Also has an original exhaust as well. Engine runs very smooth. Definitely more efficient than the 3.8, uh, that's for sure. And with that, you get better fuel economy too. EPA fuel economy estimates for this engine range between 17 miles per gallon city and 23 miles per gallon highway on regular unleaded gas. So, now let's go ahead and shut the hood. Reattach the latches. We'll go back in. Now we'll go ahead and see how it sounds. There's ever a red limiter around 4,000 RPM. Beautiful sounding engine. So here's your parking brake. There's the indicator lighting up. All right, so now we'll go ahead and shut the door. Roll up the window. Check out some of the interior features. It does have its original radio right here. It does have an infinity sound system. Right here's your track seek, scanned, your information, rewind and fast forward for your 60 CD changer. Or it might be a single disc, but not exactly sure on that. AM, FM, satellite radio, disc and auxiliary. Your line in is right over here. Shows your list, music type, and your setup, and all your six presets down here. Down here's your climate control, your fan speeds right there, temperature. And your different zones, front defrost, which there for rear defrost, recycler, and for your AC. Right down here is your heated seats, an optional feature on this vehicle for the driver and passenger. Switch for your 115 volt outlet right down here. Crash your control off and downhill assist are right here. Right there's your power point. Glove box. Some storage nets on the side of the door. door. Right here controls for your axle lock and your sway bar. Visors with little mirrors. Center console storage, there's this larger storage right down here. A little 12 volt power point right there. You also do have a smaller console right up here. Two cup holders in the center console. Your four wheel drive transfer case is down here. You can operate that. Right now we're in, t in two high, pull all the way back to go into four high. There's your four wheel drive indicator right there. Go over once more for neutral and pull all the way back. Now you're in for low. The traction control is turned off. Just go up once more. Now you're back into neutral. Once for four high, then back up into four low. Always find it convenient to have a manual transfer case so you don't have to worry about any electronics going bad. Storage net up there. Also a little, little storage down here. Your cruise control is off to the right of your steering wheel. To the left is all your heads up display options. Right here for your step, you can show your average miles per gallon, your distance to empty, estimated time, and your compass and outside temperature. Very nice.
You also do have a tilt steering column. You do have radio controls as well behind the steering wheel. To the left is your track seat and the right is your volume. The buttons right here in the center scroll through your through your presets. Wiper controls are right over here. Storage pocket up here. Does have manual seats, manual sliding, manual height adjust, and and manual recline. We're gonna show you a view of the back seat. We're not gonna get back there because it's pretty hard for guys like me. But anyway, there's a view of your back seat. You have two cup holders mounted right down here. Also, two little these are hooks right here. Not too sure what they go for. But anyway, up here is your speaker bar. Also right here up above is for your reading lights. I may have to not shut the door all the way. There we go. See right there's the reading lights. This top roof can be removable by just pulling, pulling out these these little screws right here, one up here, and you also do have to pull the latch right there as well, and then the and then this whole portion of the roof will come right off. Overall, this is just a very nice Jeep. I'll go ahead and shut it down here. Well, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this in-depth review of the 2012 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. Please like, rate, comment, subscribe, and have a happy Independence Day. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.